Hello guys, um, I'm back again. I know I've been away, and as I said in my other videos, because I've been doing a lot, going to events and doing things, but um, I want to talk about another product that I am using, excuse me, that I am using to try out for the summer months, and that I really wanted to try because I really don't use conditioners with smell. I haven't used that in a long time really really long time any conditions that contain any type of smell but I said I'll give this a try and I'll go and buy it um, I have to get away from I'm gonna go a little bit tip it on the 5050 Giovanni that I have in one of my videos um, I have to go away from that just because of my last experience um, and also to explain about that conditioner. That conditioner is a good conditioner. I'm not really against it because it does give you a curl pattern. It does soften up your hair and all that in the third. But I always get shrinkage with that thing. Always shrinkage. And number two is I had a bad experience recently. Uh, tangles. But I don't know. It's I don't know if it's the conditioner or whatever. If it's not working the way it's supposed to work anymore from what I feel but maybe it's because of the way I did my regimen and my thing is I am a major co-washer I've been co-washing since I started the videos because I noticed too much shampoo strips the hair and I'm trying to be on this challenge and retain length so that's why I'm switching over and that's why I wanted to talk about a new product that I wanted to try and give it a run for its its run for its money like they use this a anyway um so that's my feed on the 50 50 so if you want guys want to go and try it is still reliable to try it's just what I did because I co-wash every two weeks and um I usually shampoo out of one side of the month and I did that in my regimen and it wasn't not good for me but I made a comeback and I'm okay anyways going on the product I wanted to talk about is good by Bird's Bees it this one is called paranormal activity pear and acai berry um what I'm gonna say about this conditioner it is protein free so if you're sensitive out there guys or you use or you do treatments with protein you can follow up with a protein free conditioner that's what I like about this um another thing it's this is the natural line from bird speeds well, I can't see it's backwards but it's a natural line and uh, <laughs> it it's 12 full out 12 fluid ounces you could get it at, um I think you could get it at Target. That's why I got mine. It's Target for around eight dollars. Um, it's um, no parabens, phthalates, <laughs> or petrochemicals to this stuff. I love this thing. It's so cute. It says, "Dear, dear here, you, me, and the weekend." So for your naturalistas that love nice cute products <laughs> you can uh, look at it as but as your conditioner um i want to name that this product has well positive about this product water is the first thing on this conditioner which is a plus for any conditioners out there that have water as a plus your hair needs it that's all i want to say on that um it has glycerin in it uh so if you're curl you're not too much about the glycerin, hey, everybody each his own is different. Um I've used glycerin products. I didn't like it. I have one that I don't like, but that's a product. It didn't work out for me, and I did that during the winter months. This time it we're in the spring summer months. Um this glycerin conditioner is not a problem to me and it has not shown any craziness for me. So I like it. It's good for me. So, you know, you have to trial and error too, whatever you're using. And, um, okay, so it contains seed oil, hibiscus, peppermint leaves. So, everything is like 
really positive. Yes, it has some time Tiffany names. I'm not going to read those things. I'm just going to read to you what is good on this thing. Sage. Sage leaf. Um, yeah, sage leaf and needle leaf. So you know this stuff is really, really good because it, it does name a lot of good things. And it's not tested on animals, um, guys. So that's what I love about it. I chose this one because I wanted to vary away from the one that they're pushing as a brand. Excuse me. I just wanted to try a different scent. Because I wanted to try pear and see what it was like. So this is why I got this one. Um, it's made also with acai berry. Which is also a Brazilian fruit. If y'all don't guys don't know. I noticed that they're putting this acai in a lot of products. And a lot of products. Which it, it is a healthy fruit. Um, but as a... Um, because I see they make it as smoothies. As a smoothie, it's ugh, it's nasty. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It, I say it tastes nasty. But you do not smell that in this. <laughs> okay? So, I would not lie to you. You don't smell that in this. It's just the pear is like overbearing. And plus, anyway, I say it does not have a smell. What am I talking about? It doesn't really have a really a smell. It's just if you're going to drink it, guys, or eat the fruit, it has a completely different taste but there are a lot of people that do love acai out there anyway so I want to show you the consistency of this product let me go on to show you the consistency of how this product is it has you can see that a very thick consistency is white it smells very good it's a light not overbearing not really too overbearing scent and it's very thick so I like thick conditioners Compared to the 50 50 is a little lighter, but it's okay. It just like you know it has that slip. And this I don't know. Everybody's talking about slip this, slip that. I, I can't. I just if the conditioner works for me, it works for me. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you about this. Goodbye, Bird's Bees. Parana um pair <laughs> uh paranormal activity. It's really great, guys. And I'm glad I get to try a Bird's Bee product finally for once. I didn't know they had shampoos and conditioners, or maybe I just did, and I just never looked at them, so now, you know. And that's my overall take on Burst Bees, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I just want to show my hair for a little bit. I know this is kind of, my camera's kind of dainty, but I have a braid out right now. Just for now. So I have to change it for something. Anyway. <laughs> well. That's it guys. Till next time. One. Okay. I might cut it.